Hello, my name is Carl. I'm 2 Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango, and in this video, I want to just show you how I have introduced an SDR radio for the receive in my home station while still using the Yesu radio for transmitting. So we're here today in the radio room at home. I have the Yesu FT DX1200. A great radio, great transceiver. Um, you can have lots of fun with the radio. Um, it does have its limitations and one of those limitations is the scope on there. The scope really isn't worth using on the FT DX1200 in my opinion. It's much too slow. Um, <clears throat> it, when the scope actually um, shows, when the scope actually runs, it cuts out the receive, so you cannot hear what's going on as the scope is running. So, um, it's it's uh, even as a visual indicator of the the band. I do enjoy listening to the band and just using my ears for tuning around the band, but at times I like to use a scope for that so we can see across the whole band and by using an SDR dongle, an SDR receiver and a piece of SDR software it means I get a good visual representation but it also gives me access to the computing power and the ability to use the software for digital signal processing that gives me abundance of options around filtering and dealing with the noise that we have in an urban environment um, and also can really improve the audio reception as well. So there, there are a number of SDR um, software applications out there um, and the one that I'm going to show you today is SDR Dash Radio. It's a fantastic piece of software, um, really worth, if you do use this software please donate to the chap who's designed it. It's, um, it's, it's freeware um, or donationware um, but it, the, the guys put a lot of work into this so thumbs up to um, uh, I think it's a British uh, designer for this <clears throat> so I'm just going to explain how I've introduced the SDR receiver into my home setup so normally the the, the antenna would um, plug either into your tuner uh, and then into your radio. The FTDX1200 is a built-in tuner, so the antenna uh, normally would just go straight into one of the antenna ports at the back and it would act as a transceiver. Uh, in, in my case, what, what I've done, I'm using the MFJ RF sensing uh, SDR switch, antenna switch. So basically what that does, it brings the antenna um, into the switch and it brings out the um, brings out two uh, outputs then, one goes into the SDR receiver, one goes back into the radio. So basically what that does is allows you to receive the incoming uh, through the SDR receiver and on the radio, but then for transmit, the RF sensing um, switches over so that you transmit back through the antenna and not into it your SDR dongle, that's hugely important. Protecting that dongle from hitting it with 20-30 uh, watts, it could blow the front end. So the MFJ RF sensing SDR switch is actually working really well for me. Uh, obviously I've not done any scientific tests on um, the uh, loss insertion of that. I'm sure there will be people that may know more about the actual uh, really technical details of what you gain against what you lose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next challenge for me once I managed to get the signal split between the transceiver and the SDR receiver was how do I control the SDR dongle? How do I control the SDR receiver using my Yesu radio? <clears throat> and to do that, in my case, there may be a more elegant way of doing this. I connected the Yesu radio to HRD to Ham Radio Deluxe. Once I've connected to H Ham Radio Deluxe, I've now got cat control. In Ham Radio Deluxe, there's a feature where you can actually share that cat control out to a third party port, a virtual port. 
but what you have to do is you have to create this virtual port because it doesn't exist yet. So I'm using a piece of software called VSP Manager. Um, it, you can it do, Google <coughs> Google VSP Manager. Uh, the chap um, does respond to ham radio enthusiasts if you explained what the purpose of your uh, usage of that software is. And VSP Manager then allows you to create some virtual ports. So you've got a virtual port created by VSP Manager. Ham Radio Deluxe can actually now share the CAT control from your radio back out into this virtual port. And then SDR Radio can connect to that virtual port to pick that uh, CAT control up. That was the way that I have managed to get all of this working together. It's It feels a bit clunky. There may be a better way of doing it, but this is working for me. Because inside the SDR radio, you can then track, um, you can then track the uh, cat control from the radio. And for me, that allows me now to operate the radio as normal, but using the SDR receiver to actually receive the uh, signals visually and have the uh, software-based DSP control. So happy days. I've got a, SD, a really good SDR receiver set up here. So I'm really impressed at the moment with this. Um, I will try and get a video later on on um, operating this to give you an idea of how it works. Is this frequency in use? This is 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango. Secure, 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 secure. This is 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango. 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango. Call and secure, over. Secure, secure, secure. This is 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango. 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango. Call and secure, secure, secure. CQ calling, CQ calling, this is 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango, calling CQ, standing by for call. Echo India 4, Echo November. Echo India 4, um, this is uh, 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango, good morning. The name is Carl and you are 52 into Central UK. And the QTH here were uh, 20 miles just north of Dublin City on the east coast of Ireland. Uh, two Echo Zero. Uh, Echo Zero Zero Tango from Echo India 4, India and November. Go ahead. Yes, uh, good morning there, Ben. Um, just, uh, I'm just recording a video for my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm currently using a, an SDR receiver. Um, so um, on the output I'm using a Yaesu FT-DX1200 for the transmit but I'm using a switch that um, for the receive I'm using the, a piece of SDR software so uh, thank you for returning the CQ call it uh, gives me some uh, material for the video uh, thanks Ben yeah, there, uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, you're, uh, signal is a little bit of QR Mary there and frequency there. So, uh, so there you are. My transceiver here is the FT991A, and I want to know around 90 watts back to you at the present time there, so it's a few five RB. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Roger, Roger, yeah, thanks for that. Well, the, um, the, the, the SDR receiver I'm using is a piece of software called SDR Radio, SDR Dash Radio. Hey then Ben, just losing you there mate, uh, so have a good day, thanks for getting back to the call and the uh, best 7-3 from 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, 73, have a good day also, and a nice weekend coming up. Lovely, it's always worth putting CQ call out, 
the band you could say the band didn't look in very good shape but uh, two CQ calls out uh, the band didn't look in very good shape but two CQ calls out and we got uh, a chat from Ireland come back to me so fantastic so uh, thank you for watching I hope this video makes sense uh, and helps you to understand a little bit more about the the advantages of using SDR radio uh, or the fun that you can have with SDR radio introducing that into your uh, setups as well so uh, please give me a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed hit the subscribe button if you uh, want to get notifications of new videos uh, click that bell and uh, comments are always welcome and uh, please share the videos with uh, friends and family so uh, that's it for me i look forward to the next video so uh, bye bye for now